Yo, what's up? It's your boy Leo, and I'm back with another hot video, man. So today was Sunday, the Elimination Chamber match. Now, I wrote down some notes. You think I'd understand what the hell I put on this paper, but my ass did not put anything in a complete sentence. I don't even know what the hell I wrote down. But seeing how I just watched it, you think I'd remember this, but the, the it seemed like I was watching this for like 10 hours, man. But let's go through um, some of the things that I seen tonight at Elimination Chamber. Um, I do want to say this. I thought it was a great pay-per-view. It was worth the, um, for those that are subscribed to the WWE Network, it was, it was worth the subscription. It was a really, really good match. The whole pay-per-view was good. So, we have the, um, oh, good Lord Jesus. See, you see, I ain't. We have the, I was about to, the kickoff match. I was like, wait a minute, is it called the kickoff match? Yeah, it is called the kickoff match. Really good match. The Vikings Raiders won, which was good, against Zach. And Hawkins, okay? <clears throat> yes, and that was a good match. I enjoyed that match. We go to the next match, which was Daniel Bryan versus Drew Galler. Very good wrestling match until we picked up and it got a little, you know, more physical. Oh my goodness, but overall great match. I thought for a second Daniel Bryan had broke his neck because the, um, the other wrestler had literally like just dropped him on his head. I, and if you know Daniel Bryan, he had to retire for a neck injury, so I thought he was out. Um, Daniel rolled out of the ring, they did the count, and miraculously, he got back in the ring. I was like, dude, you just landed on your head. Like, are you serious? That was crazy. It was a scary moment, scary moment, but Daniel Bryan's won. Very great match. Um, dude, very good wrestling match. You don't see that in these days, because, you know, everything is with the chair shots and the headlocks and all that other stuff, but... This was a really good match, but um, if I was Daniel Bryan, I'd take a couple of days off to make sure your neck and head is okay, because that was one hell of a, um, what do you call it? It was like a a back slam or a su back suplex, but he tossed him in the air and he landed on his I was like, whoa, that's crazy. So, um, Daniel Bryan's won his match. Then we go to a grande, and I know I'm pronouncing his name all wrong. All wrong, it's not a grande. That sounds like a drink, don't it? But, uh, <laughs> that was, the next match was a very good match. He deserved to be U.S. Champion. I've seen him at the, um, the Royal Rumble. He also did a great match. I think he, I don't know, like, how the WrestleMania card is set up, but on Andrade, there you go. Andrade's match was good. I think he deserves a spot on WrestleMania. He's put on consistently great matches, but that's just my opinion. Um, in his match, he kept, um, going for the arm. Was it the arm? I think it was or the leg, one of them too. I don't know. To set him up for a submission, but other than that, it was a really good match. I should have wrote down more notes, but I was like, just enjoying the program. You know how you enjoy the program, you forget to write down the notes. But overall, it was a really good match. Then we go to the tag team elimination chamber match. Now, this match was great, but there was a lot of like spots messed up, so I'm gonna go through the spot mess ups real quick. Um. Kofi messed up on his first spot. He was trying to jump off, and it looked like he fell. Not, like, on his face, but he fell off and kind of, like, ran into the, the wrestler. That was funny. But I was like, either the, they got on too much oil or them, them top ropes are slippery. And it's dangerous when you're in a chamber because anything can go wrong. So that was the first, like, blop. And then you had the party. Um, the house party luchas or the house party, yeah, house party luchas or house lucha party. Um, they kind of messed up on their spot. I don't remember what spot it was that they messed up on, but I think it was... They went to go do something, and they kind of messed up. Um, what else happened? Miz and John... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Kofi started with, um... His team started with the Usos. They started the match off. And then the, um, house party came in. So those were a couple of spots they messed up. When John and Morrison came in... They made the match pick up a little better. I mean, um, it was going a little faster. The moves were coming out a little more crispier. Or crisp, I should say. Um, except for John, he seemed like he was having costume issues. Um, I don't know if it was his boot or the bottom of the pants, but he kept trying to fix it throughout the matchup. But other than that, they did a great job. Um, the moves were crisp. Um, then uh, some of the high spots were House Party. They did the, um, the flip from off the chamber. That was a really good high spot. I guess that's what you call it these days, a high spot. I don't know. But that was a really good move. Um, who else? 
Then they the Lucha House Party got taken out by Heavy Machinery, which was really, really good. Heavy Machinery did a move from the top of the cell. That was really, really good. And then they took him out. They um There was a move where he was running towards... Dolph Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler moved and he went right through the damn chamber, not the chamber itself, well actually it was the chamber, no it was the, the pod, he went through the pod and landed on the outside, that looked like it hurt a lot, I'm not gonna lie, that looked real real dangerous, so after he did that, his, that was the end of their team because his partner, they just, you know, they gang, ganged him up and got him out of there, so they got eliminated, but they um, put on a great show, the Heavy Machinery. And what else? What else? What else? What else did I write down here? Oh, do we do we do we do we? oh, the Usos did a great job. They got their um their hot spots on with the their finishing move, the splash from off the um off the chamber. I had wrote that down. Usos um did a great job. They, I actually wanted them to win. I really did. I think they were like, um, just in my opinion, the best team that was in there. Nothing against the New Day, but you know, the New Day, it's over. You know what I mean? They dragged that as long as it's gonna go on. Um, I'm assuming that's why they brought Morrison back to help with Miz, to help with the tag team division. But um, the Usos should have won, in my opinion. Um, John Morrison and the Miz regained their championship. Um, Kofi went for a top top rope cross body and missed, and that was the um they got eliminated after that. And then it came down to Miz and the Usos, or Miz Morrison and the Usos, and Miz and John Morrison won. Uh, overall, that was one of the greatest elimination chambers. But I know in the beginning it seemed like there were too many people in the ring. It was like, okay, this is getting a little messy in the beginning because people are messing up on their spots and then you got like four people in the ring and five people in the ring. And it's difficult when you're trying to do high flyers and there were so many high flyers that were in the matchup in the beginning. You had Kofi who does high flyers. You have um, John Morrison who does high spots and high flying moves. Um, you have Luchers, House Party who do um, the, you know, all the cruiserweight moves, so it's hard for people to do that in the beginning because they were like kind of like messing up. But once Morrison and them came in to slow it down a little bit, then everybody was able to get their foot in and and wound up being a good match overall. Um, then you had AJ versus Black. Uh, AJ was working on the leg all night, which was you know I mean common sense because his finishing move has something to do with the leg. I I can't remember what the name of it is, but I know AJ has more than just like AJ got like four finishes. He got the um the forearm, he got the impele, he got the leg lock, and he got something else. So he could beat you either way. Um, he could have won, but you know, the Undertaker came out and choke slammed him, and it was a wrap. It was a wrap. It was good to see the Undertaker, but at this point, I know they use Undertaker for WrestleManias, and I'm like, Undertaker's getting older. Y'all really need to pull the plug on him. You know what I mean? Because um, fighting younger people, he can get hurt. Fighting older people, he can get hurt. Like, he's past the age of him wrestling now. So he, to me, I know they have to build it up because WrestleMania is coming and you want everybody to show up and stuff like that and you need big name people. But Undertaker doesn't need to wrestle anymore. Not that he did anything wrong. He's just, he's of that age. He doesn't need to be in the ring anymore. That's just my opinion. Um, uh, yeah, Black won the match. I had wrote that down. Oh, um, Black put AJ through the table. That was a good spot right there. Um, he seemed like he was in pain the whole, the whole, the whole night, um, because of his leg. I, better him than me, I couldn't do it. Okay, let me tell you. Um, Street Profits won their match. It was an overall great tag team match. They deserved to be the champions. Um, Kevin Owens came in, did the stunner when the match was over. He was actually the reason they kind of lost, because... He was out there messing with um, Seth Rollins. He threw popcorn in his face, and then the other guy ran into Seth Rollins, and that spot was lovely because he ran right into the wall. Um, Kevin Owens came in to do the stunner. I'm assuming Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins are going to be fighting at WrestleMania because they seem to be building that up. Um, so that if they do fight at WrestleMania, that's going to be an awesome match because um, both people are great workers. 
Then you have the Intercontinental. Sami Zayn is your new Intercontinental Champion. Now, I don't know what the whole purpose of this match was. Braun Strowman, which is one big, tough motherfucker, against three other wrestlers. Like, uh, did y'all really think he was going to win? Now, I'm not going to I thought he was going to win until the match was over. And I was like, oh, shit, he didn't win. You know what I mean? Because he looked like he could take all three people. Except for Cesaro. Cesaro, was, he's, a, he's a good wrestler. So, I'm like, one-on-one, -on -one, Cesaro could probably drop your ass. But that's just my opinion. Um, so, I'm assuming Z Sammy and Braun are going to have an Intercontinental match at WrestleMania. Because he's got to get a rematch. Um, they've been building that story up. You know? Then you go to the last match. This is really... Um, what can we say? The the Nexus girl, Miss Bailey. Is it Miss Bailey? Mm -hmm. Are they ringing the doorbell? Don't be ringing my doorbell. What's her first name, Watson? Shauna Baisley. Sh Sh Shana? Yeah. Shauna Baisley or Shanna Baisley. Eliminated everybody. She just dominated the whole match. I was like, wow. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be like a longer match. But she came in and she eliminated two girls in like 10 seconds. Like, I was like, Damn. Then um, she kept taking the door of the um, the pod and slamming it against Natalia. Poor Natalia. Natalia got messed up the whole through match. Out through the whole match, I'm saying. Then it came down to, um, what's her name? Love Morgan or Liv Morgan. And um, she, got the, she got slammed into the cage and then she got slammed into the, um, the pod. It was a wrap for her. You already knew. Then it came down to Asuka. Child, poor. I thought Oscar was going. It was a good fight between them, but I thought it was going to be a little longer between Oscar and Miss Bailey because um, I know that um, what's the girl's name? Uh, Oscar has the miss, so I was waiting for her to spit that out and then kick her in the head or something. But they didn't. They didn't. I don't think she got a chance to use it because her hand was messed up going into the match. Um, but it was a decent match. Um, but um, WrestleMania is going to be hot. I don't know what's going to go on with Becky Lynch, because this new girl looks like she about to take your title. Like, real talk. Okay. I know this review is a whole lot shorter than what I normally do, but I just wanted to give my opinion on it. Overall, great pay-per-view. Um, shout out to the Nexus. I say Nexus, because, you know I me, mean, all the new people are from Nexus, and they're going to come up really, really fast. And the next pay-per-view will be WrestleMania in April. So I will see you in the next review. Okay? Love you guys. Team Leo, you guys are the best. You already know what it is. It's your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy, Leo.